Hey guys, what's up? We're having an awesome day today. And today is, we're in March, so this is my birthday month. And yeah, so I'm turning 22. And today's question for myself is, what have I learned in 22 years? I feel so privileged to be alive this long. Some longer, some way longer, some are shorter. I'm just grateful I made it to 22 years. I just feel so blessed and feel so supported by the universe and by God. And I feel like I'm on the right path in my life. So, um, yeah, my question, it's going to be pretty quick. Um, the question is, what have I learned in 22 years? I learned three important things in my whole life leading up to these lessons. Um, you know, so many learning curves, and I'm still so early in the game, but I'm so grateful that I've acquired such wisdom at this age, which is what I pray for, and, you know, to know so I could be ahead of the game, you know, for the future, and, you know, bless other people early in my life in the future in big, big ways. So yeah three things that i learned the first one is i learned that <laughs> failing is part of life i had such a hard time especially in middle school even with homework when i needed help like i had such a little bad ego and attitude and i was so afraid to fail in life and life is all about failure now that i'm older and i graduated high school and i past you know like i've been in real life for a little bit like i ain't even live on my own yet but i got a taste of bills and i got a taste of a little bit of stuff in this real world that school doesn't teach us about in society and yeah failure is a part of life failure is healthy there's no such thing as mistakes i am learning that and i have to carry this me the rest of my life so you know, it's good to know it now. I'm glad I know this now because I can fail forward faster and be okay with it and understand that my pain is for my purpose. It's part of it. You cannot have success without having failure. And, you know, you can't move forward and reach emotional maturity without failing in certain things. And failure happens in all areas of our lives. So, I, that is something big that I learned, and I'm going to keep that with me forever. Okay, the second thing, the second thing I learned was, I need to stay focused on the now. I need to live in the present moment and just enjoy my life's journey, because sometimes, guys, we got to know we're not in control of anything, so when you plan something, right, it's good to make a plan, it's good to have a plan, right? When that plan doesn't go through, you can't, you, you know what I say now, if plan doesn't happen the way that I want it to happen or the, how it's supposed to happen and, you know, I made it up in my mind and I'm so secure in that and it shouldn't go any other way, wrong. Uh, life can take you on a ride. So it's really God's plan. And um, so just being present in the moment is important because... When the plan changes, now I'm like, okay, like, hey, I, I don't know what God's doing, but it must be for some reason, a good reason, I'm assuming, because it's God, like, all love, all good, all knowing, almighty, right? Um, so, yeah, it's just a, all our job is to do to make our lives simple, because life should be very simple, is to enjoy the present moment. Like, enjoy the now because that's all you really have on this planet. We have no control over time. That's another video, but we don't have any control over time. And living in the moment is so precious because that's what carries you through the rest of your life is those great moments. And, you know, praying and hoping for more moments like that. And even when you fail, like, right, failure is part of life. You know that you can move past this lesson understand that it was a lesson of love and that you can move forward and if something like that 
the situation happens again where you failed or this time you set yourself up for success because we can also set ourselves up for failure so yeah again staying focused on the now is your best bet even with decisions it's your best bet so i am just enjoying where life is taking me even though sometimes i don't know what's going on or i feel like i'm losing control or i feel like i have to be patient for a long time to wait for what i want to happen to happen and just take my time and you know just let god work in me don't fight it so yeah and the third thing is that well i said my happiness is my responsibility which is true for all of us our happiness is our responsibility but i want to change it to anything anything to feel anything for me to feel worthy of or believing i am worthy of is my responsibility it's my responsibility to feel worthy of love it's my responsibility to feel worthy of happiness it's my responsibility to feel worthy of you know loving others and worthy of enjoying a moment or worthy of you know certain things in my life that I used to not feel like I was worthy or deserving of but it's my responsibility to find my joy and it's my responsibility to be worthy of peace and you know understanding that just because it's it's life is just a path I have so much more to learn I have so much more to learn I think right now God is doing a good job with me and I have no complaints and I'm just really excited and I'm excited to celebrate my birthday 22 two two um yeah and I'm just gonna keep going on with this faith and keep riding this roller coaster of life just like the rest of us and trying to figure everything out and yeah so I'm done guys these are the things that I learned the most important three things that I learned um, that I wanted to share and I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Keep praying. Have faith. Build your faith. Just have a conversation with yourself and, and always remember it's God love. God love, self love, and then you'll be able to love others in a happy, healthy way. Okay, so stay blessed guys again and I love you guys so much, okay? Bye!